Bill, if I told you Frank Vogel would be the head coach on fr- you know Friday, if I talked to you, what would you have said? I would say what I said in my column. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Um, yeah, it's, you know, and there's, and there's nothing, really nothing against Frank Vogel. And I had to spend my Mother's Day fielding emails from people saying I'm being mean to poor Frank Vogel. It's not about Frank Vogel. It's just the whole Lakers situation is such a mess. So apparently, from the best I can gather, best everybody can gather, they couldn't decide on one coach. So they hired two coaches. Yeah. It's sort of like that candy now and later. Frank Vogel for now and Jason Kidd for later. Uh, that's kind of what, that's kind of how it, it shook it shook down. Uh, you know, I, I think they really wanted in their hearts to hire Jason Kidd, but they didn't think he could pass muster with his past. And with, you know, he was campaigning for Luke Walton's job and there's a lot of stuff there, a lot of smoke there around him. So they thought, well, bring me in as an assistant and then bring in somebody else to keep the seat warm until Jason Kidd can get comfortable here. And that's, that's the impression I get. It's, and I feel bad for Frank Vogel because it's, and you, you never think you could say you feel bad for somebody taking a Laker job, but, it seems like an untenable situation for him. He doesn't have the respect of LeBron. And by the way, you know, you see, you see LeBron tweeting out, you know, never un- underestimate the heart of a champion, plagiarize and Rudy T and all that. What, how hard would it have been for LeBron to tweet out nice job hiring the coach or good job or I'm behind your, I'm in your corner, Frank, or something. And he's obviously on Twitter. Why, yeah. How hard would it have been for him to come out and just support this and kind of, you know, in this fire right now and, and get things calm for the off season. I mean, I, that, that, that just drives me crazy, Dan. It just drives me crazy. Well, right I was surprised uh, that, you know, there wasn't any, Hey, got our coach ready to get started. Yeah. Something like that. But, you know, just play the game. Even if you're not thrilled, play the game. But, and then I started wondering, John Beeline just took the Cavs job. He got five yeah, years. Yeah, he was available? He was available? <laughs> what, the, what the hell? I, he probably said, no, I don't want to go to – I'd rather go to the Cavs than – what's a better job today, Cavs or the Lakers? Oh, I think – I think without question, the, the, the Cleveland Cavaliers are better. Job. They have a they have a cla- they have a clue. They have a plan. They have a guy running the show there. They have they have a, a lottery pick, a better lottery pick. I would say I'll get Cleveland Cleveland could get Zion Williamson. Yeah, and you know, and you know, and the, and, the, and the Lakers would be lucky to get Jimmy Butler. So yeah, I, I would think that the Cavs are better job. Yeah, I didn't even know Beeline was available. That's what drives people crazy out here too. Is that they just didn't cast a very wide net the minute. Ty Lue, the minute they botched that Ty Lue hiring, which it should have been Ty Lue all along, they just went for the next guy who would take a three-year contract. And the guy who, I guess, and again, I hope Frank Vogel knows what he's going into with Jason Kidd. Because it's, you know, it, 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 Magic talked about the quote-unquote backstabbing and whispering. Well, that's kind of the reputation of, of, of one Mr. Kidd. And, uh, and that's going to be, a, it's going to be a, tough, a tough situation. I mean, I, I don't know, you know, there's people here already saying they give Vogel a year and a half yeah. and he's taken over. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune into Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV, stream for free on VR Live, or download the Dan Patrick Show app.